Tektronics has supplied spectrum analyzers to you for years. As faster real-time spectrum analysis is needed, Tektronics continues to innovate and develop the instruments you need. Now Tech takes you into the next generation of real-time spectrum analysis. Increasing demands on you prompt our newest introduction, the Tech 3052 Digital Spectrum Analyzer. This new analyzer applies high-speed digital signal processing technology. The Tech 3052 covers far wider frequency spans with faster real-time output than any analyzer now available. It's a leap forward in real time. The 3052 is nearly 100 times faster than any real-time FFT analyzer. This speed lets you solve difficult measurement problems in communications, surveillance, radar, laser testing, automated testing, and numerous other applications. By utilizing advanced parallel processing technology, signal analysis and processing can be done at unprecedented speed with the 3052. It's incredibly fast, operating at 2 MHz real-time span. Its color display gives you different perspectives to view spectrums. It accurately depicts signals in amplitude versus frequency, waterfall, and spectrogram displays. There's also a split screen format. All the displays can be viewed individually or simultaneously in a split screen for easy comparison. The amplitude scales are independent and the frequency scales are identical. You may not be familiar with a color spectrogram display. It's activated by simply pressing a key. Each line is a spectrum, with the newest spectrum appearing at the bottom of the display, then moving up the screen. It shows frequency versus time with amplitude encoded in color. The left side is scaled in time. You can see how the spectrums change as time goes on. All of the 3052's functions can be easily invoked from the detachable front panel. The knobs are for the main spectrum analyzer controls. There's also a numeric keypad for data entry, a liquid crystal display of menu selections, and markers for measuring frequency, amplitude, time, and the deltas. The panel is designed so you can pursue fleeting signals as well as store and recall waveforms, setups, and keystroke macros from the memory. Setups can include the state of the entire instrument. As you can see, this digital instrument offers tremendous flexibility. The capabilities of the 3052 are made possible through its advanced system architecture. The cards that comprise the main part of the instrument are pipelined through an adapted VME bus to a stage linking the standard VME format. The VME controller is a 32-bit monoboard microcomputer. It administers display processing, mass storage functions, and the master control program. It also takes operator commands from the front panel. It interfaces to the RS-232 ports and the GPIB Option 1, as well as the 4696 color printer when Option 11 is installed. Using surface-mounted technology and a very generous number of digital signal processing chips, high performance is achieved in this size package. As we mentioned earlier, its parallel processing structure enables the 3052 its outstanding processing speed. The heart of the instrument, the digitally implemented filter bank, combined with the digital down converter, is the core of the 3052's performance. The filter bank is comprised of 1,024 identical complex bandpass filters. The shape of each fur filter in the parallel bank is the key to several of the 3052's performance characteristics. It has frequency flatness for accurate amplitude measurement, sharp skirts for high resolution and minimum leakage of data, and high ultimate rejection for high dynamic range, sensitivity, and anti-aliasing in the output. In real time spans, the filter bank produces spectrums at a rate that is twice the bandwidth of the fur filter. For example, 
when the 3052 is in a 2 megahertz span. The fur filter bandwidth is 2.5 kilohertz. Spectrums are output at a 5 kilohertz rate, which is real-time output, twice the filter bandwidth. This spectral output rate ensures the integrity of the data. Furthermore, each of the 1,024 filters has real and imaginary data available at its output. The data is suitable for post-processing, storage, and display after formatting. Post-processing can be done with data from the real-time interface, an option to the 3052. With this option, the real-time outputs of all 1,024 filters are available. Now let's put the technology into practice. We'll let you see for yourself what applications the 3052 can perform with its outstanding signal processing modes. First, we'll look at block capture. Blocks of 500 sequential spectrums can be transferred to memory at speeds fast enough even for 2 megahertz span. The blocks may be displayed in the spectrogram mode. When the 3052 is paused, a block is held in memory, so you can use the cursor along the time scale of the spectrogram to easily locate individual spectrums for detailed viewing on an amplitude frequency display. This split-screen display makes examining the tremendously large block of spectral data easy. As an example, something you've never been able to see before is the entire band of AM frequencies with modulations. At one megahertz span, the 3052 shows the AM broadcast spectrum. Flexible tuning and variable resolution let you view individual frequencies or locate signal interference. The markers conveniently read out individual frequencies and amplitudes of modulations and their differences. In the spectrogram mode, markers also read out time. The markers are intelligent with signal finding features. Because at wide spans, there's so much information coming from the filter bank and you need to see as much real-time data as possible, you'll find the 3052's averaging and peak mode processing invaluable. This shows how averaging reduces random noise between radio stations, increasing the sensitivity to lower level modulations. The peak processing mode performs quite a different task. Over a specified number of spectrums, the data output of each filter is peak detected. This scene will give you an idea how it works. As the spectrums come out, each peak is detected and held until replaced by an even larger one. The displayed spectrum at the last of those contains only the peak values at each of the frequencies. Now, if a transient occurs, it too is captured by this process and shows in the displayed spectrum. Here's a demonstration. We'll show you a split screen of a spectrogram and an amplitude frequency display. In this sweeping signal, we'll make an unnoticeable amplitude change with our generator. You shouldn't see the change, it's too small. The change in amplitude is only a hundredth of a dB or so, but it has an associated large transient that we were not expecting. You can see the flash on the amplitude frequency plot, and you can see discontinuity in the spectrogram especially this line. After pausing the 3052, you can scroll through the memory to the transient spectrum to examine it in detail. Capturing transient spectrums, as we can do here with the peak mode, is very helpful in radar testing. All of these signal processing capabilities help to extract a great deal of meaningful information from the fast data flow. And as long as we're looking at transients, there's an optional feature that screens spectrums against prescribed limits. It's called spectral event detection. This graphic shows a spectrum and two spectral limits, an upper and a lower limit. A spectral event occurs whenever a part of the spectrum is outside these limits. This screening for events is done in real time on every spectrum. Each event is identified as to its frequency and spectrum. 
With this spectral event detection, you'll know the instant these events happen. The event detect condition can be used to trigger the block capture mode that we saw earlier. The functions of the 3052 that you've seen prove it easily outperforms previous methods and instruments. Collecting data and viewing spectrums in wide real time spans allows you more extensive and quicker examination of signals. Let's take one more look, and this time at interleaved harmonics. Our input consists of two signals, a 20 kilohertz square wave and a 30 kilohertz square wave. They simulate frequency shifted bursts. The signals alternately burst for eight milliseconds with eight milliseconds of quiet in between them. Here we see the two spectrums superimposed. One spectrum consists of a 20 kilohertz fundamental and harmonics and the other 30 kilohertz and harmonics. The harmonics are interleaved. As you can see, they are resolved. The 3052 does that and can go the further step of resolving them in time using the block capture mode. After capturing a block and pausing the 3052, we are able to display the spectrums independently. Scrolling through memory, we see each spectrum as it was cycled on and off. On the spectrogram display, this is what the two spectrums look like. With this highlighting, you can clearly see each spectrum resolved in both time and frequency. If each spectrum represented an alphanumeric character, you would almost be able to read the spectrogram. As you monitor data, the 3052's tunable center frequency and selectable span enable you to view any frequency in the DC to 10 megahertz range. These span and center frequency operations are accomplished through a five-stage digital down converter internal to the 3052. In viewing frequencies above the 10 MHz range, an external down converter such as the modified TEC 2756 is used. Here you can see an FM signal 103.3 that was converted to 3.75 MHz for analysis. If you're interested in comparing signals, you can compare active signals with the overall frequency occupancy of the radio station using the max hold mode. Max hold accumulates the envelope of the signal. It's shown in white. The active signal is red. You can see the maximum peaks in time. In this show, we've only scratched the surface of the capability of our new analyzer. Its parallel processing shows you incoming signals faster than ever before. The filter bank and digital down converter add significant performance to this speed, and its processing modes let you analyze events as they happen. Whether your needs are surveillance, radar, or other communications testing, the 3052 Digital Spectrum Analyzer will revolutionize the way you analyze signals. Its wide spans with real-time spectral output and excellent frequency, amplitude, time, and phase measurement capability put it in a class by itself. The standard instrument can be equipped with any of these options to better serve your needs. Most notably, option 10 allows real-time data to be output for further processing and provides the event detection. With the 3052, you get the most advanced technology and capabilities. And Tech offers the service, application support, and training you've come to trust. You've seen how the 3052's digital spectrum analysis will help you with demanding applications. Contact your nearest Tektronix sales engineer for more information.